Pisces, I this is a different energy than I normally get for you. So I'm getting an energy of a past energy here. So someone is regretting um, walking away and there's just an energy of regret. Why? Because you've moved forward. So someone doesn't like that you've moved forward. And I don't normally get a reading like this. You're changing your life. It seems like you're triggering an energy there. And maybe they're seeing you change. But let's see, because I feel like you're just in a better off situation. That's what it kind of feels like. You know, you're just doing well. Maybe you're just embodying more light. And with this interference energy is coming up all of a sudden. What do we got? Okay. So stay optimistic. This is what I'm saying. You're in this. Stay optimistic about your love. You're in a very lighthearted energy. And I think it's showing. You've changed. So we have divine timing is at work in your love life. Beautiful. Because it seems like energies are balancing out for yourself. Calling in your soulmate. This is probably going to bring in something good. So again, you're embodying some light energy. And then let your friends help you. That to me is your guides. So you're very in tuned, Pisces. I'm not surprised. I feel like you're doing more rituals. You're spending a lot of time alone. You're very in tuned, a lot of you. And you just have a past energy who they really came up. I'm not surprised if they will come up again, but I don't know why they came up in meditation, but I felt that. So let's pull on the main energy. So I did see six of cups and devil. So Ace of Swords, lovely. I mean, you are, I think they just see you in your light. So someone or in your surrounding, it could be even friends or family, guys. Someone in your surrounding is seeing you in your light. You're changing. Things are moving really great for you. And as Ace of Swords is after hard times because Ten of Swords are not easy. That cycle of swords is never easy. What do we got for Pisces? Six of Wands. Victory and success in this deck, which is awesome. Lots of um, doing well, probably in your career. There's something, you're just showing up differently and it's people are noticing. Six of Wands is when you get noticed, right? And you don't have to seek attention to get noticed. And here goes your perspective, hanged man. So it has to do with your enlightenment. You're in a space of enlightenment. Beautiful. Look at that. The strength card and the world. This is why you're in a new cycle. There's something that's changed within you. Um, and so... Maybe people are seeing that you're, you're more stronger. You're embodying. I just keep hearing light. All right. Give me more of this Ace of Swords. Like I even see this, the, when Leo shows up too, for me, I always feel, I always, I still envision the sun card. So give me more of the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords? Two of Cups. Beautiful. Fool. So you're being, you're going to be blessed with a new connection. This could also just be new soul tribes, but this is why there's a past energy that is seeing you. So someone notices this and it's because you've embarked. They're seeing you in a good space. You are in a good space. You're either, if you haven't met your soulmate yet, you're calling them in. This new energy is going to bring you a, a good person. Give me one of the six of wands. Or right, some of you may already be in this connection. Seven of cups. Give me one of the six of wands. Yeah, I, I feel like this feels like, you know, it feels like manifestation energy. So everything you were thinking about um, setting intentions for Page of Swords is coming up. And people see you. This is what I'm saying. You're not seeking attention, but people see it. So Page of Swords is that spine card. So someone is seeing it. Someone sees you. I feel like someone sees it too. I'm getting that energy back again where someone's watching. Let's get on this Page of Swords. 
Oh my God, seven of cups again. With the tower and the world, you've changed. Someone is definitely noticing your change. You also have changed. I think you're very strong right now. You're gonna bring in a whole new cycle. All your dreams are gonna come true. You've set intentions, Pisces. This is a new life. The world and the fool and the world. Give more of the strength. I get magician energy as well. Like so strong. Ace of Wands. Wow. Guys, I'm so like happy for you, Pisces. Give more of the strength. Knight of Wands and Eight of Swords. So after some hard time, right? You were you were feeling blocked, maybe not even inspired. This took time, and I think spirit has been helping you here, divine timing, and it had to do with optimism. So the strength has to do with positive energy, confidence, and you trying to enlighten your energy in this space, find more inspiration. I also feel sexual energy here because there's a lot of strength, Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. So maybe some of you did some sacral healing um, getting more comfortable with your sacral chakra. So sacral chakra really, um, it really activates creativity and it's making you very, again, it's, it's lightening your, your light body. You're just showing up differently because of that sacral. Give me more of this universe. Why the world? You're conquering a lot of healing and we're in the world. Yeah, look at this. The world. Five of five of swords with the hermit and the three of swords and the ten of swords. Yeah, so this is a lot of conquering the world here is conquering a cycle. Spending time alone really served purpose here. And you gained a lot of energy. The hermit has the star in the inside, which means is authenticity, finding yourself, connecting with your higher self. And I feel this was a journey, right? So this is why spirit, it was divine timing. Like you had some guidance. This is why I feel a lot of you had your um, your guides or a connection to source, whatever you connect with. But this is where the inner wisdom gains. And now you're able to turn things around because remember we talked about the Ten of Swords and here you are turning it around. So now we're back. You end the Ten of Swords, the world. You now gained Ace of Swords, a new beginning, a breakthrough, which will give you better soulmates, a fresh start, a new perspective, because Hangman is one of your main energies here overall. So this new perspective clears way, you know, this optimism, it really makes room for the new. So this is a, a really great energy. It still requires some work for some of you, but just be optimistic. Stay high vibe, continue, you know, your rituals. I feel, remember your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring together. So if it's a soulmate, but it doesn't matter. It's what it's helping you bring is a new world. It's a new cycle of life. What is your blockage here? tears yeah the situation will bring you to tears run i feel for a long time i think you just had heavy energy it feels like things were heavy for some time and now that's where all the healing right so maybe a lot of you had to go through these lonely nights with the hermit and had tearful moral moments healing that's facing the shadow too like this is Pisces of anything. You're the sign I would expect this kind of healing from, you know, understanding shadow work. Let me get more on this three of swords because I feel like that's really a major thing here too. Three of swords. Give me three of swords. Yeah, magician. So you learned. You learned your karma. You learned your lesson. And you also learned to transmute. You knew that there were things you had to face here. You know, when magician shows up, it also means we're willing to hold ourselves accountable. I really think that's a strong energy, always. I mean, I as a reader, I just read the energies. 
you guys know you've been watching my channel for some time you know i don't gaslight here and i don't like it i don't like other readers who do but clearly my channel will continue to stay small because truth is not always a desired trait so you know healing is not always a desired thing denial is that's what you learn about the collective a lot denial is is the favorable choice in life and i don't do that here so i do appreciate this energy for those who do come to my channel i appreciate you i love you and i treasure your exploration of yourself and your growth so let's see what your lessons okay what do we have external party yeah karmic contracts family finances and other material concerns or responsibilities are causes of interference and stress so this has a lot to do with the interference that you had a lot of you it was um you know these past energies external right so karmic contracts family like i said some of you this is family family exes there's someone like i said earlier there's someone who's watching you i think you have people seeing you grow people who robbed your light for a long time these were the interferences and the stress factor in your life and you're taking your power back you know you're you're seeing things for what they are and this these external factors will no longer have power over you so let's see what other guidance we have for you pisces yeah patience again divine timing here so don't rush things but allow it all to unfold naturally time heals almost everything give it time so time is a factor here clearly i feel like spirit this is why you know spirit is working with you source is working with you to resolve and complete and come to a completion with this cycle and it really will be a valuable breakthrough that will have a really um impactful significance in your life as you change and you see yourself unfolding too in this time because there's everything about unfolding things you know changing for you so um stay optimistic and be patient here because things are turning around pisces so i love you please like share subscribe click